Patricia is a small cafe on Littlebrook Street, just right next to a dumpster. It is well known for its style, which is a perfect mix between contemporary and traditional, along with a super friendly team that provides authentic, delicious coffee and a genuine caring service to their customers. As one of the best cafes in Australia in 2016, Patricia attracts a diverse group of audience, whether they are university students, lawyers, or local office workers. They can come from any age group though, mostly between 20 to 40. Their socioeconomic status can also vary anywhere between low to middle high. In my point of view, Patricia may not be the kind of place where people would stay for hours to read a newspaper or hang out to have a late breakfast. But if they need an outstanding coffee or a casual place to meet up with new people and catch up with their friends, then I think this is an ideal venue. Most people coming to the cafe will order a takeaway coffee and then go, but there are quite a few of them just standing next to a dumpster chatting with their friends. Some will just sit on the milk crate and doing random things on their phone. Patricia may not be the most charming cafe in Melbourne, but I think its pretentious atmosphere and its simplicity is what makes the cafe really special. Now that Lynn has told us about the type of customers that visit Patricia Coffee Brewers, I'll consider the user experience. For a typical customer, their goal is to purchase a cup of coffee. Their basic journey to reach this goal is to line up, order, wait, and then receive their product. However, they also have expectations that relate to this experience. For instance, Melbourne customers often expect to not just coffee, but what they perceive to be good coffee. In other words, a lot of us are coffee snobs. And even though many people come to Patricia's with the same goal, it should be noted that not all of them have the same experience. So how does Patricia's respond to these expectations? Importantly, they do make a great cup of coffee. In addition to this, there are sensory cues informing the customer that the coffee here is likely to be good. There are massive lines out the door, a list of coffee varieties to choose from, the sound of beans being freshly ground, and the strong smell of espresso, just to name a few. This indicates to customers that Patricia's take their coffee extremely seriously. They also take their customer service seriously, describing themselves as people-focused and old-school. They aim to create an environment where their customers not only get a good coffee, but a friendly, welcoming atmosphere too. For example, they greet you, maintain eye contact, offer you water, and remember the names of their regulars. This heavily affects the customer experience, at times mitigating parts of the experience that I would consider negative or unpleasant. For the majority of customers, the unique location, great product, and friendly service result in a positive experience. But for unhappy customers, some of the cafe's weaknesses are the lack of seating, crowded interior, and long queues. And some find the atmosphere too hipster and pretentious to be able to enjoy it. Despite reasonable criticism that Patricia's is pretentious and very crowded, their focus on treating customers well, being genuine, and being passionate about coffee definitely facilitates a unique hospitality experience and keeps people coming back. Now Catherine is going to tell you about their branding touch points.
Hey guys, my name is Ian and I'm going to briefly talk about Patricia's identity and selling points from an international customer's perspective. Like a convenience store, coffee shops are essential in Melbourne and Patricia is one of them. They mainly attract coffee drinkers of different demographics, especially those who are close by. So how did Patricia even come about? It was founded in December 2011 by two veteran coffee shop owners by the name of Bone Holden and Pim Hiff. Funny enough, both of their grandmothers had the same name, Patricia. Patricia was designed by interior architects from Fullscape Studio and a graphic design firm named Beyond the Pixels. They are located in Leobrook Street, Melbourne and is open on the weekdays 7am to 4pm. But regardless, Patricia is an interesting cafe because there are so many little things that make them alluring without us even noticing. But other less distinct factors that contribute to their reputation includes their location in the alley. I'm sure most of you already know this but in Australia, alley cafes are known to be good. They tend to give that sense of secrecy as though finding a gem in trash. Moreover, they evoke an atmosphere of home and comfort showcased through their interior design. Thus, the cafe indirectly places customers outside in the alley with its lack of room, allowing customers to be free and not confined in a room, public yet quiet enough to spend time with others. Lastly, it is also believed that they have created an illusion of being popular by having a place smaller than what is actually required for the customer's comfort. This will make it seem as though the cafe is doing extremely well. A restaurant in Malaysia named Village Park does the very same approach where they will try to squeeze customers together in the first floor even though their second floor is empty because whoever walks by or enters will assume that they are doing extremely well from this crowdedness. 